Yeah, uh, we'll quickly address the chat because everyone keeps saying Tate versus Paul, Tate versus Paul, blah, blah, blah. Listen, yes, yes. Logan Paul's a wrestler now, I, I heard. I thought he was doing WWF. Um, I saw he did a call-out video, and but he doesn't have a Bugatti. I offered to buy him one. Buy him one. Should I buy him a Bugatti? I think, you know, everyone knows my Should I are. buy a brand new $5 million Bugatti and drive it, drop it to his house and say, listen, bro, you said I wouldn't be relevant next year, but you're obviously broke now. So let's just shake hands, be friends here. You're a brokey. Yeah. Here's a Bugatti. Seeing you in the WWE would actually be pretty cool. And I have to say, I watched a few of the clips. There, uh, there There's ath- a lot of athleticism involved. Bro, I'm ready. He's clearly been training. I'll pull the strap. You don't put, that's not how WWE works. It is. Bro. It is not how that, it works. It is. I'm from a different world. Like all these YouTubers and stuff, they grew up in America. Now the YouTubers cool. I made my money on the streets. I'm living out here. I've been through anyone who's a big fan of mine. They know what I've been through. I've been shot, been stabbed, been through it all. Been through all this. And you're going to shot talk to me. at. Okay. Shot whatever. at. Talk about fucking WWE. I'm ready. I'm ready. Royal Rumble. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to buy Logan Paul a Bugatti. Is that that's, the plan? that's what I've decided to do. Is that the plan? I just want to, sp- I'm a nice guy, bro. I'm yeah. out here. I'm just, I'm a nice guy. Like, obviously I'm the most dangerous man on the planet, of course, but I'm also a very, very nice man. If you want some Bugatti, you can have one. All you have to do is say, yes, please. And I'll send him one. Where, oh. the, fu- where the fuck even is he? Where does he live? I don't, California, I guess. I, I don't know. Somewhere like that. Somewhere. So Somewhere I'll send like him that. a Bugatti. Yeah, whatever. We'll just take out the fucking, put on the card. I offered, you don't know, the world doesn't know this. I offered to train Logan Paul once. When he had his rematch with KSI, what was the name of the club? We were in the exact same club as him. I was about five feet away from him. LA? At the, yeah, LA. I can't remember the name, of the, the, the name of the club. But Logan, I was in exactly the same club as you after you lost your very close rematch with KSI. And you know, I always liked you bringing this back, this I have beef with you, I'm going to box you. And I said to this waitress, some bottle bimbo, you know what? Go tell Logan Paul that the kickboxing European champion and world champion are in the house and we offer to train him for his next fight. And this girl comes over to me and says, oh, I can't go up and talk to him. There's too many people around him. So you narrowly missed out on the training of a lifetime. Yeah. So narrowly missed out. I was about five feet from you. 